Peace of Christ to all. Uh, today in this video, we will answer the Muslims regarding what they're saying about Paul. Uh, but before that, you know, the funny, the Muslims, they keep calling us <clears throat> that we are pagans. And the funny, it's not us who kisses stones. And it's not us who believe in holy stones. And it's not us who believe that stones, they will talk and they have eyes and ears, as Muhammad said about the black stone. It's not us who believe that snow, stones will witness for Allah, uh, in, uh, for us in the front of Allah and is going to ask, uh, is going to do intercession. You know, uh, a Muslims who all their religion is based on stones because the Kaaba is nothing but a stones. The black stone is nothing but a stone. When you even go to uh, to uh, to do a Safa and al Marwa, the Safa and al Marwa, it used to be a place of two idols, uh, 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 one for a male and one of a female. And you can read that in my book <clears throat> with all the proofs and the reference. And even when they when they throw uh, 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 when they want to uh, condemn Satan, they throw rocks. So when they want to show love to Allah, they kiss rocks. When they want to hate Satan, they throw rocks. When they want to uh, uh, do the, the duty to to worship Allah, they go around rocks. So you Muslims, everything in your religion is about rocks. And I challenge you to show me where in my Bible it says to worship or to kiss rocks. Never. It's your religion, it's your belief, black stone kissers. And Islam, which is coming from Hinduism, this is why we see the Muslims, actually, <clears throat> their clothes is exactly the same as the clothes of somebody is a Hindu priest. And the same shoulder he show, you know, they show the right shoulder. You can go and see the priest, the, the Hindu priest, and compare between their clothes. And not only that, the Kaaba, in the Arabian Peninsula alone, there was more than 26 Kaaba. And those are taken from the Persian and the Hindu, because the Persian have Kaaba and the Hindu have Kaaba too. And Muslims, they got those belief from the Persian and from the Hindu. In the same time, they accuse us to be pagan. Where is the paganism in Christianity? To believe in God? To believe in Christ? Christ is a living, living person. To say a pagan, Abdul, let me explain to you what pagan means. Pagans is those who worship idols. And you are the one who do so. Because when you say a stone do talk, a stone do walk, like you know yeah yes so like if, if you don't believe me Muslim believe in that they believe that rocks they are living things and even rocks they used to say assalamu alaikum to Muhammad they speak to Muhammad but for sure this is a this is because Muhammad he is a delusional man he imagined things happening they never happened you can read in Sahih al-Bukhari as we see in here in Sahih al-Bukhari Aisha reported that for such and such a period of time God knows how long uh, that Muhammad he imagined he slept with his wife he had sexual relation with his wives and in fact he did not this guy is a delusion he didn't know he didn't know what he's seen but anyway today our topic is not about paganism is not about Muhammad imagine himself having bang bang but he did not and this is why I ask people to watch a movie it's called the perfect post because it's a perfect movie explaining the situation of Muhammad and look how Muhammad explained his illness of being mentally ill. He explained it, oh, the excuse, 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 somebody took some hair from my private part, and he was a Jew, and he controlled me from far away by my hair. And this is what I call a, a hair private part remote control. So you Muslims believe now I can take hair from your private part and I can control you from far away? Huh? Like who in the world will believe in this? Today, today Israel do not need to fight Muslims. Then, all what they need to get some, you know, hair from their, uh, their the private part of their kings, and they control them from far away. Maybe they are doing this right now. Mm, maybe. So the Muslims could not get explanation for Muhammad delusion uh, delusion life, except that he was under black magic. But you know what? Even when they say that, they prove that Muhammad cannot be a prophet because simply black magic. It's mean what? We don't believe in magic. Even though the Bible says that when when Moses he made his stick the same as a, 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 as a, as a snake, so his magic overcome their magic. 
But the fact it's a miracle of God for them, it's a magic for us, it's not. But Islam believe in magic. But let us see what this magic is. This is a magic made by Satan against those who love Allah. It's evil. And Allah, He says in the Quran that I protect you, Muhammad, from the, from the authority of Satan. Satan have no authority over you. So then we will see Muhammad. Suddenly he is saying satanic verses. Suddenly Muhammad is imagining things. You know, uh, 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 actually, I'm not saying suddenly. I'm saying uh, like when we read his stories, we we like we discover suddenly amazing things about Muhammad, which is really very weird. This guy. Like when Muhammad he was imagine himself having sex with his wife, but the fact he did not, he was doing what kissing the the, the pillow. Huh? He was holding what? I, I don't want to go too much graphic, but that, that will be really funny uh, uh, about Muhammad that he is imagining things they never happen, and that uh, one of those things is having sex with his wife. So who is the one who was having sex with his wives? And he was having sex with who then? The goat? And actually, I encourage people to watch this movie because this is the best movie to explain who is Muhammad, what Muhammad, what, what Muhammad is about. Now, we go back to our topic. Our topic really is not about paganism, but I just have to, to refute those uh, weird Muslims. I challenge you to find me where in the Bible it says uh, we've been ordered to kiss the stones or even the cross or anything uh, to make us pagans. Where it's been ordered to, to believe that... Uh, uh, a stone is holy and then we will see who is the real pagan in the same time the Muslims they keep attacking Paul and this is actually the topic of my video today and I have surprise to the Muslims I want to ask you the first question and the first question is the following actually it's a challenge show me once your prophet said something bad about Paul listen carefully Muslims show me once just once your prophet you see muslims have thousands and actually if not millions of hadith and they try to delete as many as they can because they are disasters but i want from those millions one hadith from muhammad saying something bad about paul you will not find any why and i'm asking why because simply if muhammad is the messenger of Allah and he know more than the Muslims Muslims they get their knowledge from who from Muhammad Muhammad he's got his knowledge from who from Allah they never saw Paul they never been with Paul they have no idea who is Paul how the Muslims today know that the one who corrupted Christianity is Paul but Muhammad do not I will tell you why because Muslims today they are a bunch of idiot and they are trying to find anything to attack Christianity they could not they are bankrupt because simply even their prophet and their Quran and their seerahs and this had their hadith speaking clearly that Paul is the messenger of Allah actually to be more accurate he is the messenger of the Messiah and I'm going to show you that from their books showing you that Muslims are a bunch of ignorance they are speaking against Paul when their books praising Paul you know what I'm saying? Praising Paul, not only speaking good about him. No, he is a great messenger of the Messiah. And that made the Messiah God because God cannot make you. A Nobody can make you a messenger except God, right? You know, if, if the Messiah and he is not God, how the Messiah, he can send messengers and they do miracles and they believe in the Messiah. So let us go to proofs and reference better than making speeches. In the book of Al-Bidayah and An-Nihayah, and this is an Islamic website, 100%. This is Islam, uh, IslamWeb.net, and this is the book of Al-Bidayah and An-Nihayah, uh, uh, and the writer is Ibn Kathir. <coughs> and by the way, uh, Ibn Kathir in here mentioned many stories. Uh, one of them, uh, uh, as you see in this hadith in here, in page number 521, about Allah and the false messiah. The false messiah, he is one-eyed. The real Allah or the real Messiah is 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 uh, uh, he have a perfect eyes. So the only difference between the false Messiah and the false Messiah is one eye, which mean, and if you see what Muhammad is using here, he is using the the instead of speaking about the Messiah, he is speaking about Allah. Read with me. This is Sahih Bukhari, Book of Prophets, 
you will see that uh, Muhammad saying, Allah is not one eyed, while the Messiah at the Jal is a blind in the right eye. And the Messiah at the Jal, at the Jal in Arabic, means the liar, which means the false Messiah, the Antichrist. <clears throat> so, what is the difference between the real Allah and the false Messiah is one eye? Now, if you read in this hadith carefully, you will see that there is no reason for Muhammad to mention the name of Allah because simply he is speaking about who? He is speaking about the false Messiah. So, he should say, the real Messiah, he is not one eyed. But instead of that, what Muhammad said, the real Allah is not one eyed. Which means that Allah, he looked exactly like Jesus, and he is actually Jesus. He must be. Because what this have to do, what Allah have to do with the false Messiah? The false Messiah simply is somebody claiming to be the Messiah. And look how Muhammad he compared between the two. He compared between them in a physical way, not in a teaching. And that is showing me the stupidity of Muhammad. Because all what Muhammad he see between the false and the real is the look. The false and the real is the look. And the funny, can't uh, uh, Satan come with a perfect look? Actually, according to Muslims, Satan, he come to, to Muhammad as a white, as an angel, as a white angel. The Muslim believe that Muhammad, there's a Satan appear to him is called the white devil, the white Satan. And he appeared to him in the image of Jibreel, which means this, this Satan, he can appear in a perfect image, not only in image of a man, he can appear in the image of, a, of, a, of an angel. Remember Muhammad, he said to them that Jibreel have 600 uh, uh, wings which is against the Quran, where the Quran says that uh, angels cannot have more than four. So the, the white devil appeared to Muhammad as a perfect angel, and he is the one who gave him satanic uh, verses. And here we go. I'm showing you the reference in front of your eyes. Uh, I can show you actually from tons of reference, uh, of many explanation books. Fatuh al-Qadir al-Jami'a fi bayna fanni riwaya wa diraya We go in here, we will see it says, Qala Ata, Ata, he said, he meant by that the, shait the shaitan, the white shaitan, which used to come to the prophet in the image of Jibreel to deceive him. And I can take this to Google translation as it is, and I can copy it, and I can paste it there. And I will do that. Now we go back to the story about uh, uh, Paul, because you know all those information we are giving you, just as an addition to 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 reach you with, with knowledge and information. Still, you you know I advise everybody to go and read my book, The Deception of Allah, if you want to have a real knowledge about Islam. In in Ibn Kathir, as we see in here, and I want Muslims to go and check the reference, you know, just to show you we don't make things up. In page number. 529 in the book of Al Bidayah and Nihaya, variant number two, it says that there is two witnesses. Uh, the Abdi Kathir is saying the one who wrote the Bible, there are four. Two of them, they were real witnesses of the Messiah, as we see in here. And they are Matthew and John. And the other two, they were a companion of the companion, and they are Mark and Luke, Morcos and Luca. And uh, and, and 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 they are from those who believe in the Messiah, and he's speaking about the person, his name, and here Adina, which is a wrong name by the way. His name is Hanania, not Dina. But Muslims never get the name correct. Uh, he was one of the believers of the Messiah in Damascus, and he was hiding in a cave. Why is he hiding in a cave? Because he was afraid of from Paul. Mm -hmm. So and he continue. He says, uh, uh, and Paul, he was a Jew. And he was uh, unjust, hateful to the Messiah. He hated the Messiah. Uh, and when he came to his nephew, this is Paul now, he came to his nephew, he shaved his head and he killed him. Why? Because he believed in the Messiah. Look, imagine what Paul is doing. But look what he's saying after that. When he went in Damascus and he he, he saw the, the, uh, the apostle of the Messiah, which means he want to kill them, an angel of God appeared to him and he hit him in his face with his wing and he made him blind. So when Paul, he saw that, he became a believer in Christ. In, in what? In Christ, not in Allah. 
Listen to me carefully, Muslims. Ibn Kathir is saying in Christ, and that makes Christ God, because you don't believe in Christ unless he's God. You Muslims don't believe in Muhammad, you believe in Allah. Huh? So he believed he became a believer in Christ. And he apologized for what he did, which means against Christianity, he apologized to, to Christ. Uh, and he believed in him. So the Messiah, he accepted him. How you can believe in the Messiah unless the Messiah is alive, right? So the Messiah, the, the, uh, Paul, he believed in what? He believed in the Messiah. And he was accepted by the Messiah, which means the Messiah spoke to him, not an angel. But anyway, Muslim story. And he asked the Messiah to wipe his eyes, which means to give him vision again, because he became blind. Uh, so may Allah give him his vision again. So he told him, "Go to Dina, which means Hanania, uh, in in the in the end of uh, of uh, or in the side of Damascus." And he told him where, and he is going to ask uh, uh, for for your recovery. So he came to him, and then it was given to him his vision. And then look what Ibn Kathir is saying. And then uh, the, the the faith of Paul became a great in the Messiah. So he became a great believer in the Messiah. And he became a slave of Allah and his messenger. And a church built with his name, and that church is called the Church of Bolos. Bolos in Arabic, by the way, is Paul. In Damascus, and uh, even, you know, the... Uh, even in the story in here, we see that the Islamic scholars, which mean enter the time of Ibn Kathir, nobody mentioned Paul in a bad way. So Muslims are coming with those stories from where? From where Muslims are coming with those stories? Fabrication. Because Islam is religion of fabrication. And by the way, we can take this uh, uh, text, or we can translate as it is, just to show you I'm not making things up. Because Muslims, they might say, Oh, this is not true. This is going to be, you know, uh, etc. Hmm? And here I was showing that Muhammad, he used to have a white devil, and the white devil used to appear to him. Now, if we translate, if we translate this, you will see that he is saying, he is saying exactly what I was translating to you, uh, that there was two, they are, they are real witness of Christ who saw him, you know, and those are namely Matthew and John, as you see. And in the end, you see the story of Paul killing his nephew and coming after after the Christians to Damascus to kill them. And in his way, an angel hit him with his wing and he made him blind. Uh, and uh, then he became a believer and he became a great believer in Christ. So it's very obvious the books of Muslims, and by the way, we can see that too, in the interpretation of chapter 40, uh, 34, verse uh, uh, number 14. 34 or 36, let me see, this way. Actually, 36, forgive me. <laughs> okay, 36, verse number 14, it says that Paul was a great messenger of the Messiah who sent by the Messiah to the city of Antakya. And we read that in here, Ibn Kathir. This is an English translation, Muslim translations. And the word in here is bolos. Bolos is the same as Paul. Like in our Bible in Arabic, we say bolos. We didn't say Paul. So bolos, and you will see that the strongest messenger of the Messiah is bolos. And in here in Ibn Kathir, you will see that Ibn Kathir and the Muslim scholars admitting that he was a messenger of the Messiah who was sent to the people of Antakya, and that would make the Messiah what God, because you cannot be a messenger of Allah unless Allah, supposedly, if he's God, he made you a messenger. A messenger cannot make a messenger. A prophet cannot make a prophet. So when the Muslims admit that Paul is the messenger of the Messiah himself, that means Paul is a follower and worshipper of the Messiah, and this is a true faith of a Christianity. And Paul, he came with nothing except what Islam is saying, 
about him being a messenger of the Messiah. And this is exactly what the Bible says, that Paul is the messenger of the Messiah. And in here, even Allah, he called him that he is a strong one, the third strong. We enforce them with the third. So he, uh, Paul was an enforcement for the church. Paul, he was enforcement for Christianity. And who is the witness of that? It's your God, you idiot Muslims, who keep attacking Paul when Paul is a great man. And by the way, uh, what will make Paul a bad person? Did he say, uh, God gave me six years old girl to sleep with her? Did he say adultery is fine as your prophet says about Muta? Did he say kiss a black stone? Did he say uh, pay me money? Did he say give me your women? Did he say any women she gave herself to sleep with me? I'm a great messenger of God. No, this is what your prophet did. And the list is long. Christ is Lord and Paul, his shoes is better than many. And you know I'm talking about who. See you with more videos. Thank you.